I wasn't going to do this, but I thought, well, maybe I should just to catalogue what's here. Um, it's mostly Janetta's, which we're going to see in a minute, and there's a few Cajuns around as well, but, and there's a few like TV sports over there, which we're going to see as well. But there are supercars here, and I'm loving this dark, deep blue Porsche, which is just oh, gorgeous. Uh, literally just come from over there, which is where we were in the previous room, just, just up there, just, just up there, just where the trees are. That's where we've just come from. I'm going to see the British GT cars have been compassed in a minute because there's a few in the holding area still. Maybe, potentially. But I'm just going to quickly show off some of these uh, supercars that are always present at the British GT meeting. And then we will go to the oops, support paddock area. Lotus, meh. Porsche? Nah. But this, I mean, yeah, people say, oh, you know, Ferrari this, Porsche that. Me personally, I am definitely not ashamed to say that I am for sure a Lamborghini guy. And this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Look at the interior. Yes. It's carbon fibre as well. It, it's trying to explain to like non-car people the appeal of this, and you just, you just can't. I'm oh, getting every kind of a... But yeah. But yeah, unashamedly, I am a, a Lamborghini guy. I don't know if you can read anything in my psyche about that. Do I like this Ferrari? Yes. Do I like this Porsche? Yes. But I really love that Lamborghini. Is there anything around here? There's something a little tidbit around here to look at. But I think it's all just team trucks. These were the team trucks at the British GT Championship. Like you wouldn't think it was such an organ, such a, a setup. It's more akin to like a, a Formula One paddock. Uh, than it is a, a British GT Championship paddock. And normally, normally you could sort of sneak in behind here and sort of see what's in the garages, but there's absolutely no way to do that. It is absolutely prohibited beyond uh, the boundary of these trucks. Hey, McLaren have got their uh, hospitality area. Ah, they're cheap seats. McLaren, you could do better. Sorry to say. I mean, that's even, I can rate that's even better. It's only a small team. We'll see the SRO hospital, hospitality area. And I saw Caterham's as well, which we're going to go check out. But yeah. But yeah, that Lambo is drawing a lot of attention and I'm not surprised. <laughs> like, it's just such a thing of beauty. Like I say, unashamedly, Unashamedly, I am a Lamborghini guy. Always have been. Always will be. And let's try not to get run over by the uh, by the tractor. They had a platform on the back, and uh, back in the day, um, at a meeting in 2011, I think it was 2012. I actually hitched a lift on one of the on, on one of those things back when it was less regulated. Can't do that now. Save me a walk up the hill. Here's the SRO hospitality area. SRO are the people that run the British GT Championship, basically. For such a I mean it's nice. The aesthetic's really nice. That's not a real candle, is it? It is a real candle. Is it real is that a real candle? I can't quite tell. Oh, there's some sort of a oh, prize giving going on. Best not disturb them around the tyre. Oh, it's a solid, solid 7 out of 10. I don't know what their, uh, what the prize giving is. Oh, they're doing an interview with Esme Hawkey, I think, a British GT driver, I think. Yeah. 
one of those like women in, women in motorsports interviews by the sound of it. We've got the Janetta. Which Janetta are these? Are these Janetta Juniors? They are Janetta Juniors. Part of the British GT Support Championship have been for a while. Is that in? Is that Phelps car? This is in Phelps. Won a couple of races already this season. Uh, Charlie Hart, Championship leader. In, he's Championship leader in spite of the fact he hasn't won a race this season yet. Only a matter of time. We've got a GB4 cars mixed in with Genetis as well. A lot of teams do these sorts of things. Here's Genetis hospitality area. What do we think? What do we think? I wanted to give it a, I don't know. It's got a reception area though. That is actually dope. Okay, that's the best hospitality area I've seen so far this season. By far. That beats McLaren's, it beats SRO's. It's a good hospitality area. I'm not sure if this is just a GT Championship or GT Academy because the cars, to me at least, look the same. Pro tyre, I'm going to say Genesta GT Championship. And here's the GB4 cars. One of the only single seater championships I know of currently that doesn't have the halo. GB3 has the halo, GB4 does not. Because the chassis and the cars are slightly older. I think they're all, I think they're basically old repurposed Formula 4 cars. Uh, we're coming up to some Caterham stuff in a minute. Think of Caterham as like guests here this weekend. Uh, Caterham's area. It's good for what it is. I'd give it... I'd give it a 7 out of 10. In all honesty. Here come the Janetta GT Championship drivers. They're about to have their first race of the weekend. Get one out of the way here. You know, once in this paddock, I had an auto GP car run over my foot. It wasn't fun. Patrons, these things will provide brilliant racing. They always do. They've got a qualifying session and a race uh, this afternoon. And they've, got, they've got a qualifying session, then a Super Bowl, then a race. I'm, I'm, I like the black and orange um, livery there, that's really cool. I love a black racing car. Black racing cars have purpose. Black, black cars in general have like a menacing purpose about them that I really, really love. Another Caterham, this is a nice one. And that's an official... Uh, it's an official UK championship as well. And there's, lot, there's, there's, around, there's more than 20 of them here actually. It's a really healthy grid, there's, there's three more. Again, black racing cars with minimal colours, good. That's how racing cars should be in my opinion. There's some Genetta Academy uh, cars over here. And then we'll... Then I might have to cut a Costanza and get the flock out of here because I am running a bit late. The more caterings over there, which we've already seen. There's not much, it, the variety in the paddock of a British GT meeting normally isn't that great. So I don't normally, I don't normally cover the GT paddock uh, for that reason. It's like, oh look, here's a Janetta, oh look, here's a Janetta, oh look, here's a Janetta, here's a GP3 car, here's a Janetta, here's a GP4 car, here's a Janetta, here's a GP4 car, Janetta, GP3 car, Janetta. That's all there is. That's all there is. I sound like someone that's had lots of pop, don't I? <laughs> There's a Genetta Junior over there. There used to be Genetta GT5, but they scrapped it, and I think it's the stupidest thing they did. <coughs> and the Genetta GT Championship is the one that used to be part of the BTCC package along with Juniors. Genetta GT Championship now down to 11 cars. I'm going to make a bold prediction and suggest that's a championship that they might scrap. GT Academy is quite strong. If you're a first time driver, it's a bit too old for juniors, well this is where you go. 
Although I'm seeing the masking tape on this one, I'm wondering what's happened there. Didn't hear about anything on the circuit, but you never know. And there's a junior bar in there as well. Right, let's have a look down here a little bit. There's some more juniors over there. I just wonder what these, this bit, these bits of bodywork are all about. Let's have a little look. The British GT cars are in the pit garages themselves. Well, they have, they have to be, you know, because they're such amazing machines. They need to be having the proper garage treatment. There's another GT Academy car there. Excuse me. And then over here. Like I say, Charlie Hart leads the championship despite not having won a race yet this season. There's Ingram's car. I haven't seen Ethan Jeff Hall's car, and he's the other one that's uh, that's won a race this season as well. He won two races. He won the first race of the season at Alton Park, and I think he won at Silverstone as well. Oh, but, oh these, these are the bits of these are the bits of body work everywhere. This car has clearly been in the ward. <laughs> Look at the amount of gravel that was in <laughs> Oh. That wasn't meant to happen. <laughs> now, I was at the old hairpin all morning, so I wouldn't have seen what happened here. I don't move very much. But, yeah. Looks like a big repair job to me. Let's take a look at the gubbins here if we can. I'm going to take, uh, I'm taking liberties again, but don't mind that. It's for content, that's what I tell them. Don't tread on a bonnet, on a uh, boot lid, bonnet lid, whatever it's called. <laughs> Oh, these are nice. They look comfortable as brick, actually. And there's a chair. That won't win any races. <laughs> so hopefully these guys can get whatever whatever happens to this car. Hopefully they can get it fixed. There's a big part. There's big piles of gravel all around the car. I don't know what they've done, but. Whatever, that, whatever they did, it was clearly something major. See, look, it's right down to the, right down to the gubbins, look at that. That's incredible. And that really is the gist of this paddock. I'm just going to look at a really nice uh, Aston Martin and something else up here. It looks like a Rolls Royce to me. Was it a Bentley or a Rolls Royce? I can't quite tell. Uh, to know the GT cars make their way on, out onto the circuit. All 11 of them. <laughs> I've got hair in my eyes. Here's a Rolls Royce. Look at that. Someone's come here in a Rolls Royce. <laughs> that is impressive. Wow, it's a, it's a, is that a carbon fibre bonnet? It is a carbon fibre bonnet. Oh, wow. Oh, look in, Can you see inside there? You probably can't, but wow. That is impressive, and there's Master Martin as well. And here's another Rolls Royce. That's not a car, that's a freaking tank. I mean, I'm, I'm like, um, I'm like five foot eleven, and it's like, it's taller than me. It's actually taller than me. That is. I, I've never known a car be taller than me, even an SUV. That's amazing. I'm coming on this way. I'll around this way. You won't be able to. You'll be able to see my face with all the We don't want that. No face reveals just yet on this channel. And then a BMW. That looks mean. That thing looks mean. That's a tank. That's mean. 
anyway that's gonna do it um just a short 15 minute one um i will be back tonight for models on stream and maybe something else as well we don't know yet we'll see a plane go overhead that will be it We're under the flight path of an airport, so you get that a lot. Right, anyway. Oh, actually, I wonder, because that race is about to start, I wonder if we're going to get to see the first corner of the race. Might be able to. Hang on. It could be a bit of a mess at the first corner, but we'll see. I need to get my uh, earpiece in. To hear the racer stuff, or not. Okay, they're on the warm up lap. That's the first corner just there, so we're gonna. Let's see what happens. We're going to be right next to the first corner, so this could be interesting. I can hear the commentary, they're, at the, they're, at, uh, they're on their warm-up lap. But there's the first corner, so we are going to watch from here and see if any drama unfolds. Are you going to commentary now as well? So I'll let you listen to that for a few minutes. I can't see from here any cars yet, but this is going to be, this could be worth it. It'll be, exci it'll be exciting seeing a bunch of them uh, come round here actually. There's not as many cars here, so they might have enough space to, to manoeuvre. We shall see. I can't see anything yet. So Have a listen to the commentary for a few seconds. Of the weekend underway, with this two by two rolling start for round six of the 2024 program. Rolling start, the new captain 57 minutes wide will line up there on the right hand side. Sounds like they're going around the Melbourne hairpin. Uh, predominantly white car with uh, blue and green scratches. I'm just going by where that sound's coming from. Number 24 alongside Mackenzie Douglas, who was the race winner in the opening round of the season. Here they come. Let's see if anything happens. It's getting busy. There you are. <laughs> Always exciting when they come in the end of the pack like that. So that was the start of the GT, the next GT Championship race, right. I am not going to love you and leave you. Um, I will be back for marbles on stream like I say tonight. Maybe something else, depends how I'm feeling. But yeah, but yeah. See you soon guys.